Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss A Couple Styles and welcome or welcome back to my channel, A Couple Styles, because one just isn't enough. Here we'll talk about fashion, lifestyle, travel, and a couple styles. So if that's what you're into and you want to be all about the styles, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all, so I'm going to get right into it. Today, I'm going to be doing another spring-summer wide foot friendly haul, a shoe haul. I feel like you guys got a lot of um, value from it last time I did that. I did the spring-summer shoe haul for Torrid Shoes. I'll link it in the cards if you haven't seen it. Definitely make sure you check it out. But again, I want to come to you guys, giving you guys my wide foot community, you know, some more ideas, what's out there, what's available to us, what may say it's available for us, but just might not work. So yes, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with some shoes that I got from Nine West. It said that the straps were adjustable. So they said um, most likely to fit a wider foot. So I was like, okay, you know, back in the day, maybe about four or five years ago, Nine West was the spot for me. I love Nine West. All my shoes was from Nine West. My, my work shoes, my going out shoes, my flat shoes, my this shoes, my sandals. Everything was from Nine West. Because they they catered to the wide foot girls. I mean, they was here for me. And I was here with I was here to them with my money in hand all the time. And again, they always had deals too, like buy three, a hundred dollars, buy four, buy one, get one. So it was like, you know what? In between back in the day, I told y'all, I used to be at Payless in the summer. Them sand listen, my sandal collection from Payless was flawless. Okay, so between Payless and Nine West, your girl was going, it was, it was like a revolving door. And then, I, which one I'm gonna go today? Which one? I'm, maybe I'm gonna do both. So I was like, you know, it was nostalgic when I saw an email pop back up from them. Like, oh, they back around? Cause they used to be in the malls, but they took them out. So I'm like, okay, they was only in certain locations. Like you can go to the city, they had a shop. But I'm like, okay, you know, don't always got time for that. So when, again, when I saw the email pop, pop back up, it was nostalgic for me. So I'm like, let me see what they got to offer you, girl. Didn't seem like too much, cause I will say a lot of stuff did say narrow. So when I saw something that said adjustable, may cater to a wider foot let me see what we got so let me show y'all as you know how we do this i show the shoes and then we go to the try on so i'll show you all the shoes first then we'll get into the try on so of course you know the size size 12 i got it and it was cute too let me read the description pink multi-texture and then they had the square front let me stop talking about it and just show y'all your girl was ready for these. I want to even say I had a look for these. You see it? Get into that shoe. So this was that one. So again, I was pumped up about this. I was like, okay. Just showing you the strap as I'm even just putting this in here. Giving you already an idea. No give at all. <coughs> Excuse me, I just had a pliable and I think the granola is still like kind of stuck. <laughs> but nonetheless, back to the shoe. So, yes, as you can see with me putting this in here, really no give. But your girl was optimistic and was like, you know, that's just tissue paper. It ain't going to make it move. I got to put my foot in there and it's going to move. So, again, those are the Nine West text, pink texture. So, that's one. Then, <laughs> I got these bad mama jump peep toe suede mules. Now, as you know, being a wide foot friendly girl, some shoes I see or I see on celebrities or I just see as I'm out and I see, you know, you out to dinner. Or you just out with your friends and you see somebody with a bad shoe on and you like... <sighs> can't wait i cannot wait till they get that in my side oh hopefully they make something like that that's more like it hopefully they make something like that that could fit my foot because i know if listen comment below if you one of those wide foot, wide foot <laughs> individuals who you just try because again with me my foot is it's kind of weird because some not a narrow shoe but 
some shoes that don't say why I can get in with no problem no spillage over no um, back fat no side fat hanging over the shoe right it fits my foot so I always try but when it comes to sometimes those designer shoes or even like a Steve Madden sandal I'm pushing it at times but I try so trust me when I see a cute shoe I, I'm gonna try I'm I'm gonna try it so y'all don't have to or so y'all can know to go grab it all right so getting into the fashion to figure again this is the pito suede mule when i saw this one i wasn't even looking for a shoe when i was on fashion to figure i actually was looking for some jeans and they have great jeans but i was like okay i was looking through the jeans but it gave you a suggestion you know how i go with those suggestions it suggests that i pair these shoes with the jeans let me see what y'all talking about y'all got y'all got a size 12 and it says what let me see what they hit for so i ordered them i'm gonna show you this baby what's going on what's going on the shoe box gonna fall on me look at that look at that hill listen it's not too skinny because i will say i'm listen back in my day i was rocking stilettos <laughs> rocking stil stilettos and pump <laughs> now i'm not i'm more of a chunky hill wide foot friendly girl <laughs> but these lots of comfort here as you can see so it guys skinny then we get the little chunk here look at that got the little peep toe action Y'all gonna see what it looked like in a second. Hold on. Just showing y'all what we got right now. So that's the mule from Fashion and Figure. Now we just wanna go into something, some lounge, kicking it. Maybe you in the backyard, you had a little company, it's getting warm outside. You don't wanna put a real shoe, but you wanna, you know, look put together. All right, that's the whole part of it with anything. You wanna look put together. So, Walmart had these, what you call them, mules as well, or Mr sliding so they kind of gave me the ug like kind of like the ug um slide vibe of course not with the high heel kind of birkenstock vibe as well maybe so yes i have these and the cheetah you see those and i will say these are an 11 12 so i was like let me try these so i got these for comfort i thought they was cute Again, just a little slip on running to the store. Maybe you're having some wine in the backyard. You're having some um, friends over, family over. That might be an option. Another Walmart find are these slippers. Again, giving that UGG vibe. Of course, not with the UGG price tag. Put one of them down. Not with that UGG price tag. It's giving that crisscross in the front. I know you've seen these UGG slippers um if i can remember i'll um, attach it so you can kind of see if they still have them on the site so and it has that hard bottom if you did choose to wear my side again these are 11 12 as well from secret treasure comfort again you having company over you have a slipper but you don't want to walk around in your house you want to again look a little bit more put together this is that option for you um i believe they had these in black and white i just got the black again was trying it out so all right now we get back to the turret for the most part turret has not steered me wrong so your girl always want to go to them for a quick find when i'm looking for something again turret i want to put a disclaimer here turret always catered to the wide foot friendly girls i said this in my last video some of their shoes i noticed their heels are getting a little bit narrower and i think that's because of some of the comments that i've seen some of the suggestions that have been made to say just just bring them in a little bit because again in the summer you know as you wear your shoes over time with your feet sweating so they kind of expand a little bit in most cases right most instances so i think they have done that but i also will call out Torrid has been giving the girls fashion they have been coming together with these sandals i mean they keeping up with the best of them i see something that i again i'm like oh, only if steve matten would have gave me a wider version or it, you know they go to 11. i just need that 12. like you I, that 11 is it's giving 
but they ain't giving what they need to give all the way and I don't want to take my chances right so I've noticed this year alone Torrid has been banging them out back to back back to back and I'm a loyalist and I'm getting the emails and at this point I'm almost like about to unsubscribe because I'm like Tor I can't I can't keep the free shipping is good the free express shipping is good but I'm still paying my coin okay now I got Torrid cash <laughs> Let me get some shorts and let me get some sandals. I got to get it to match, right? That I think that's the new thing. That everything body is suggesting the whole look. It works. Even on my site, I suggest the whole look. I show you how I styled it so you can maybe want to get another piece and pair them up. I get it because it looks good together. But, Tori, y'all got to slow down. Y'all got to slow down. But, anyway, that was my little disclaimer. Not a rant at all. It was definitely a good disclaimer y'all doing y'all thing so another Birkenstock style but with the braided so I did go with these again thinking comfort thinking maybe you going to the park maybe you, it's you know going to a cookout going to a friend's house nothing too much or maybe we do a heel joint today and you just want to slip into something that's still cute this with a cuff jean anklet on a couple styles has those anklets this is a look so again, you know, just a quick look, showing you what we got. Then we want to show you what they look like. And y'all, don't be coming for my toes. You know my trip is coming up. I don't want to get my toes done just yet. I want to be fresh for my trip. So I am holding on to what I got. So don't, don't be coming for your girl in the comments. <laughs> All right, and then, you sort of braid it flat, right? Tori said, why just do the braided flat? Let me take you up a notch. Let me take you up a notch. Top notch styles. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, and I know you y'all have seen the girls wearing the braided heels. They come in a lot of colors. I will say Tori, we, we only got the black right now. And I'm okay with that. But listen, when we able to get the girls what they're giving. Be able to give back to the girls because we stepping into a wide foot friendly and everything. We here. This is what we got. Look at that baby. I'm going to do my own slow-mo. <laughs> you see it? Look at the hill. Chunky hill. Four inches. Still. Can hold on. I will call out. I will call out. Tori, you know we cool. We like this. No shade, no this. When I opened the box, I did see it might not have been this. It wasn't this one. It's the left one. But as you can see, if you guys could see it here, what's this? See, that make me nervous. You know, because it's like, okay, my foot could get in and everything, but why this thread coming? And I hadn't even put my foot in this yet, and I saw this. So what? What's that about? So I, I think I am going to email them and say, you know, I have the shoe. I'm going to hold on to the shoe. But just in case, how long do I have if something happens to the shoe? Because again, this is giving, let me, let me pull the other shoe out so you can see. Because this, this has that, just the string. But the other one, it made me feel like I wasn't the first owner of the shoe. Now this was an online only exclusive it said, which doesn't it mean something but it doesn't mean too much doesn't mean that somebody couldn't have returned it i felt like i grabbed it because it was um within the torrid daily drop i don't know if you ladies are familiar with it my torrid girls i don't know if you guys noticed the um new things added to the site so the daily drop in the coming soon so it's like they just be putting you on pins and needles making you wait making you not even making you wait. i guess they be telling you to get your coin together so i'm gonna look at it as a positive but get into this shoe so right here I'm going to try to see if it picks it up. You know, the cameras do what they want to do. But can you see that little snag there? Just trying to pick up on my face, but I'm trying to show y'all. It's a snag right there. So something like that makes me nervous because I haven't even put my foot in it yet. Again, I felt like I was the first owner of the shoe, but I could be wrong. Um, maybe I wasn't. So it kind of gives me kind of apprehension and when i'm out and i'm stepping 
you know, I'm gonna be on vacay, I'm stepping, I'm strutting, I'm out with Bay. I don't wanna be questioning my hair because then, you know, your friends, Bay, they looking at you like, what's wrong? What, what you looking at? And you trying to go, oh, no, 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 I'm good. But you worried about that shoe because you're like, huh, one, you know, misstep. And is your girl gonna be exposed? Am I gonna be down? <laughs> I'm gonna be up here, I'm gonna be like this. One shoe still up and the other one down. I don't want that. So that, again, that makes me nervous and it makes me question the shoe. Right now, it seems all is well, but I'm thinking just for coverage or just to let them know, you know, advise. Because some things happen and maybe it's a defective one. It could have been defective. Am I happy that I might have potentially got a defective one? No, but can I prevent that? No. I mean, I don't think they intentionally sent a defective shoe. But nonetheless, it is what it is. We are here. I'm going to try them on for y'all. I'm going to let y'all see. Um, you know I'll come back and get an update. So definitely make sure you tune in. Because sometimes the video is not individualized. You might catch some of this in a vlog. So make sure you're hitting that bell notification so you know what's going on with your girl. You're watching those vlogs. You come in here for those five quick friendly videos. So you can know what's up. But without further ado, you know it's time. what time it is. It's time for me to try them on. I need like a little siren in the back. Alright y'all, so you know how this part of the video go. You will hear my voice, see my feet. Alright? And these slippers right here, these are just my regular house shoes. Bedroom slippers, some people call them. Got these from Walmart. Comfortable. Why foot friendly. No spillage, you see. I ain't even introduced these, but I just even, listen, bonus footage. So here you go. Looking for some house shoes, bedroom slippers, Walmart. And they only like $4. Oh, you know I rack up when I see them. Listen, I see them. I pick them up. All right. So let me get those out the way. Now you can see my bare feet. I was going to start bad to what we got next. But I'm going to put the bad in the middle. And I'm going to start with the fashion to figure here. All And then there's one. And then there's two. And I think I'm going to pull my up a little. Just so you guys can see the full, full vibes. Alright. Can you see the shoe? Alright. Look how that foot go in there. I'll just pull it up a little bit. Pull it up a little. Look at that. It stands up. Can you see it? Wide foot friendly. Nothing spilling. Nothing is seeming like, oh my god, it's gonna come apart. Listen. You see that? I'm dragging my foot. Did y'all see that? Look at that. From the front, <laughs> from the back, from the side. Yes. You know what these remind me of? If you guys <laughs> might be showing my age, but maybe you showed your children or maybe you just happen to stumble upon it. This is giving me Wilma Flintstone box, but cute. Because maybe because I got the leggings on too. But yes, look at it. All right, then that's that. Going into the next one. So those were the fashion and figure mules. Let's then go into one of the slippers. So the black UGG like slippers. Let's see what they give it. Now with these, you do have to, you know, do a little work. Move the crisscrosses around. But once you in there, you in there. Again, these are 11, 12. And I don't know if you can see, but I have a little room at the top. <laughs> Again, room at the top, but nothing's spilling out. Foot is secure. Cute. If I had to run outside and get the mail, walk down to the mailbox, I had. I could do that. It has the hard heel on the back, as you can see. 
from the front, from the back, from the side. So these are the slippers by Secret Treasure from Walmart. They came in black and white. These are the black, as you can see. This is the only color that I got. All right, and I'm standing up. I'm gonna grab the next pair. All right, so these are our Birkenstock fur slippers, fur slide. Again, as you can see, the first three pairs, so it was the mule, the slipper with the hard bottom, and now the Birkenstock style slipper. Feet are going right in. No spillage, comfort, cute, not hanging off the back. From the front, from the side, from the back. I had to switch it up that time. So you guys see it, again, it could be a slipper. It has a hard bottom. If you wanna wear it in the backyard maybe, run into the store, pick up some groceries, got some jeans on, cuffed up, even a legging, as you can see, it's cute. Put an anklet on, style it up a little bit. There we go. All right, now, Y'all can't see my face because I'm I'm honestly stalling because you could already tell that I had tried this shoe on. Okay? Let's let's be honest. I had already tried the shoe on. I told you I was ecstatic about it. Had an outfit to go with it. Your girl gonna be stepping and I'm gonna be cute. No man. <clears throat> Your girl ain't gonna know any. <laughs> And let me just show you better than I can tell you. First of all, let me put it down. Can you see? You see, you see baby pinky toe? So again, they're my size. And I wanna get this. But do you see that bottom? Do you see that spillage? Like, well, I'm gonna I'm try to strap it on for y'all so y'all could really see. So this is my size. Your girl know her size. I can't. I can't even really strap it on for y'all. But let me just hold it around, okay? Look at it. Can you see? My feet is like, what are you doing to me? Listen, you have been getting it right. So what are these? What are those? That's what my feet are saying. Like, you forgot what happened. <sighs> Look at it. And this shoe, I, this was a bad shoe. Look, I haven't even had it on. Look at that, you see what it did to my foot? And don't get me wrong, I know, you know you wear strappy sandals, they leave a mark. That's a not wide foot friendly mark. So I don't know who classified the shoe as having adjustable, you know, potentially fitting a wide foot. I don't know where that classification came from. I, I, I may, maybe it was the start to something Again, maybe they working on it. They trying to figure it out. They ain't get it yet though. So, now nah, Wes, I love you, but I can't love you no more. It, it just ain't working. So, as you hear me rattling, I'm going on to the next thing because I just can't live in, <laughs> I just can't live in that depression. And if I, I could, but I'm not. So, we got the braided flat, again, straight in. These are given, even if you think about it, it's not the same. It's kind of like the Birkenstock bed, but I don't know, are you, are you up with, the girls are wearing the Chanel strap, you know, sandals. I don't know what they are called. If I find them, I'll um, put them. Definitely not the same, but they're giving that vibe. I don't know if you're, again, familiar with those Chanel, so they have this strap. 
Velcro across. Have the two C's here. Kind of like a braided style. But this is what these are giving to me a little bit outside of a birthday style. So, you see these. This is like the braided sandal. No spillage from the front, from the back, from the side. Don't come for my tool. <laughs> So y'all see if these are comfortable. I actually have a lot of room in these, as you can see at the top. I have room for a lot of give in these. So I would be, I'll have to come back with these and say, you know, when I really warm out, did they get too loose? Did they stay good? You know, we gonna see. Right, and last but not least, we have the braided hill. With these, I will say they don't just slide right in. You do have to get your foot in the groove of it and pull it on. Which is, again, not a bad thing. On to the next one. But my foot does feel secure. Foot definitely feels secure. I feel like I'm giving a nice, cute pair this with some jeans. Pair this like some flare leg jeans straight leg jeans pair it with a nice summer dress yes from the front from the side and from the back how y'all feeling these this is the last and final pair of this video but which one is your favorite so we made it to the end of this video. I showed you the shoes. I gave you a try on. And then I also gave you that disastrous non West try on of those strappy, high heel, wide foot friendly, potentially sandals. I don't know. But again, we did it. I tried it so you didn't have to. <laughs> but if you made it this far in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up notification. Make sure you subscribe like and comment hit that bell notification so you're notified every time your girl posts definitely share it out to a couple of your friends let them know this is the video they need to see this is the channel that they need to be on all right so talk soon stylers Ooh.